Foam puzzle mats like these were recently withdrawn from sale as a health hazard, as were baby bottles made with toxic BPA. So what does the European Union do to ensure that toys and other items used by children are safe? There are plenty of toys for sale this Christmas, but how do you know if they present hidden dangers? Foam puzzle mats have been pulled off the shelves in France and Belgium, pending the results of tests after some were found to contain high levels of a toxic chemical, exposure to which can cause eye, nose, throat and skin irritation. They're the latest items to raise concern. Every year the authorities find some dangerous items. Toxicologist Alfred Bernard explained the problem. We're talking about solvents and what happens is that there's a residue left on the maps. So you should be very careful because it can be inhaled or absorbed through the skin. What we usually advise is to try to minimise young children's exposure to these products. The chemical in the maps, formamide, is classified as carcinogenic and toxic to reproduction. That is, it is harmful to a pregnant woman's fetus. Its use in toys is to be banned in all European Union countries from July 2013, in accordance with the provisions of the new Directive on Toy Safety, which came into effect in June 2009. But we asked an EU spokesman for industry, why the delay? She explained it's to allow time for manufacturers to adapt and also to develop the necessary standards. In the meantime, how do you know which toys are safe to buy? The best advice from Brussels is to make sure the product has the CE mark on it, which certifies that it's met EU consumer safety, health and environmental requirements. It's also important to check the manufacturer's label on the product itself to make sure that it states that specific toxic chemicals like BPA have not been used. Europe Direct is how you can get more information about Europe. There's a free phone number, a website and information centres all around Europe.